Ooh, oh, it's so good. It, oh, it's so good. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got Friday favorites and foodies for you today. And this is almost gonna be like a little mini Amazon makeup haul and Friday favorites because I ordered quite a few things from Amazon. One I've already mentioned to you, but I wanted to share the other things because I've been playing with them and those are my standout favorites. So it's that kind of situation of like Amazon haul that ended up being my favorites. So that's what we've got today. And then I have a really random lip combo that is a combo. I love this look, but it's multiple things together, but I love how it all came together and yeah, I'm gonna share it with you. So some good things to chat about today. So if you're new here, my name is Leslie, welcome. I love to do favorites videos, new at the drugstore, empties, get ready with me's reviews, just a lot of fun stuff here on my channel. So if you're new, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button and stuck around for a while. I'd love to have you here on my channel. So yeah, we are chatting about Friday favorites, so let's get to them. Okay, so first off, an eyeshadow palette. I had to bring a pair of tweezers in here with me to be able to open this. That's one thing about several things I'm gonna chat with you guys about today is that they are very hard to open. One product I actually damaged from trying to open it and then I dug my fingernail into it. So get yourself a pair of tweezers to be able to open this. So all of these things were under that brand Erinde, um, but they all kind of have like different labels on them. So I don't know if it's like one place that they're made and then different you know, companies distribute them. I'm not really sure, but I'll find the listing that I purchased them under and list it and link it for you down below. So packaging doesn't say Arende or anything like that, but that's what it said on the listing. So anywho, this is what the box looks like. This is the palette. I really like this. Again, have to use a little pair of tweezers and just kind of like get in there to open it so you don't mess up either your nails or the palette. So this is what it looks like. I don't even know the name of it, but I like it. <laughs> so I have this on my eyes right now, um, in addition to something else on my lids. But these are really good. I like this palette because it's just pretty and soft for every day, but a really good formula. Like it doesn't end up looking like over the top makeup. Like even when I sh show you these swatches, they're soft, they're not, like not soft in formula, I mean, yeah, maybe a little bit, but more just like subtle makeup, um, which I like, like there are the mattes. Let me swatch some of the metallics for you. I have this, this one right here, right there. Um, where did I just swatch it? This one, I think. I have a little bit of that on my lid, but then other things over the top. So you really don't see it very well, but I do have that on my eyes. This is just pretty. I find that the mattes are blendable and easy to work with. The metallics are very pretty, but then you can, you know, use them with a setting spray and make them a little bit more intense and metallic. It's just pretty. It's just a pretty everyday, soft, not overdone eyeshadow palette. And I love it. So I was gonna say I was really kind of more about the cheeks and the lip combo. But actually, I mean, I really like the eyes too because I love the sparkle on my lid that I'm gonna get to in a second. But I like the kind of soft look. So I feel like this is a good palette for everyday or office wear or pairing it with a more intense cheek or a more intense lip or something. It's just good, soft, beautiful makeup. I really like it, good formula. Now I'll just leave these swatches here while I show you these. I love these. So it just says, dreams come true. Believe in your dreams. That's very nice. So <laughs> the first color, this is the one that I dug my fingernail into when I first opened it, but I was kind of able to press most of it down. So this says number four, unique style, I guess is the name. And this reminds me a lot, once again, need a little pair of tweezers to get in there. This reminds me a lot of the moon dust shadows from Urban Decay, but this is, it has more of a metallic look to it. So the moon dust shadows are kind of more like sparkly shimmery. This is sparkly and shimmery, but I feel like it has more of a base color to it 
that's more metallic. So first shade is 04. So I have this on my lids. I love this. And I applied it with just my finger to really kind of make it intense. It's gorgeous. And then the other one is kind of like an icy, duochrome kind of more on the cool tone side. And this is 02 Toasted Marshmallows. Ooh, this is so pretty. I love this. Look how gorgeous that is. So yeah, kind of cool toned, silvery lavender almost. Ooh, it's good. I have this on the inner corners of my eyes, but I did wear this on my lids too, just kind of depending on what I grabbed for that day. Oh my goodness, those are beautiful. <laughs> Aren't they stunning? Ooh, beautiful. Yeah, so they do have that shimmer to them for sure, but you can see they have quite an intense kind of metallic base to them, but good formula, just pretty, catches the light. If you like that kind of light catching shimmery lid, I think you would love these. All this stuff was affordable, which is exciting. So yeah, and I like the packaging. Other than it's a little challenging to get into, now that I know that, I just use a pair of tweezers, but I like the look of it. It's pretty. I have shimmer all over my hand, leftover shimmer. So if you see shimmer on my hand, it's not from the cheek products, it's from the shadows. So just know that a little, I tried to get most of it off, but okay, let's get to the cheek product favorites. I was, I've just been still really into an intense cheek. I just love it. I think it's, it's over the top, I know, but I just think it's fun. I just like it. So yeah, like a very intense, mostly pinky cheek, but then um, like a little hint of a red sort of a color. So let's get to all the things on my cheeks because I have several things layered together. First favorite is this. Again, I got this under an Erin Day listing and this is the Velvet Liquid Blush and it doesn't say the color, but it's the pink color. It looks like this, it's the pink color. And packaging looks very similar to another brand. This is what the applicator looks like. Okay, something to know about this. This is intense. I literally put a dot like this on my cheeks. I use a small stipple brush and just stipple it on. It is intensely pigmented, very, very pigmented, but great formula, like not difficult to blend in, flattering and forgiving on the cheeks. It is beautiful. This is kind of like a, a reddish pink, like almost like a, a raspberry pink or something like that. Beautiful, I think it's so fun for this time of year. Um, as far as the finish, I would say like a slight satin finish. And I almost feel like it's looking maybe a little bit patchy in the swatch, but it doesn't on the cheeks at all. I mean, you know, it's a small little area. I'm putting it right there. So by the time that you get it all applied to your cheeks, I mean, it, it blends well, it applies well, it looks pretty on the cheeks. Love it. Just know you need very, very, very little product. So I've already talked about this one, um, but I'm still loving it. So I'm gonna mention it again. It says the long lasting fantastic blusher in milk tea pink. I have this on my lips. So I think the listing says you can use it on your eyes, your cheeks and your lips. So this is what it looks like. It's got the little brush on the end. I don't use the brush, but it's there. It's this just kind of stick sort of makeup product. And this is a really cute like bubble gum pink. Love this. So cute. It looks amazing on the cheeks. It's got a little bit of a sheen and glow to it. It blends well, it wears well. I found that it wears well. I just love this color. So I have this um, paired with a lot of different things on my lips, but I like it on the lips. I think it's really pretty, but it's this kind of like milky sort of a pink. Absolutely stunning. And then I got this one. I've been playing with this now, and I think this is so cute too. This is just like a bright, almost like a raspberry red. Ooh, it's, oh, it's so good. It, oh, it's so good. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? It is intensely pigmented. So I have to use very, very little of this on my cheeks. I mean, the tiniest little bit. I get my small stipple brush and just kind of like go over the top of the product a little bit and just get the tiniest little bit. I have so, so little of this, just kind of right in here and then sort of blend it in. I've got an inch intense cheek going right now, but I really love it. Here is the packaging on this one. It says the color is 02 for this one. 
Um, does it have a name for this one? Rose Powder is what it says. Rose Powder, and this one says Milk Tea Pink. Uh, does this one have an, uh, zero one. Okay, so that's that. Yeah, I, those are all good. They're all so good, affordable, great formula. And I like that it works on the lips too. I actually even did take a little bit of this um, with a an eyeshadow brush and just kind of tapped it on my eyes a few days and it worked that way too. Okay, and then this lip combo. This is like almost a, what all did I use? But, and kind of what order did I use them in? Because I kept just sort of layering things um, and I just, I love how it all came together. So I've done this several times and it always seems to come together. So, I mean, I would just say layer these somehow. <laughs> I'll kind of tell you what I've done for the most part. So I start with NYX Lip Liner Pencil in Mauve. Mauve, so take like a mauve kind of deeper pink shade. So I have that as my lip liner, just around the outsides of my lips. Then I took this one. So pretty much these are all lip liners except for this product. Um, this is the LA Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liner in Pinky. Love this, really like the formula. This is more of a bright pink, not really even bright pink, kind of like a mid-tone, um, kind of bubblegum pink. Really like the formula. It's just like a classic lip liner formula, but it does work to fill in your lips with it. So I like that. So I filled in my lips with that. Then I put a little bit of this over the top of that, but one day I put it first and then that, first this, then this, either way seems to work. This is one of the CoverGirl Simply Ageless Lip Flip Liners, and this is in Loving Rose. So this has a shape to it that you can easily fill in your lips with it, so that's nice, and it is a good formula to be able to do that. This is more on the rosy side. So I don't feel like I see as much of that, but I, I have it on, so I'm sharing all the things. So that, and then, Last step is I used just a little bit of this. I kind of actually then went over it with this a little bit around the outsides of my lips. It was a process, y'all, but I just love how it came together, so I have to share it with you. So then I took this, and it's this bubblegum pink. So by itself, I definitely cannot wear this by itself on my lips because it's just really intense. But with all these other things, oh my goodness, I love how it came together. Love, love, love. And actually, it's really comfortable on my lips too. It kind of ends up just being this sort of matte satin sort of a finish. Um, it just feels nice and it's relatively low maintenance. So I like how this all came together. I would say maybe I could do without that one, but I, I do feel like that kind of changes it a, a little bit. Gives it almost a little bit of dimension um, and depth to the combo. So they're all good. All right, you guys, so those are all my favorites. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you have been loving or maybe not so much loving. Let me know what you've been up to recently. I would love to hear that. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video.